Okay, guys. Uh, welcome to chapter two of a new beginning. This chapter is called a crazy evening. <laughs> so let's get crazy. Um, first up is a short role play. Braglin knows. Uh, about about okay it's a short role play about an indecisive man so let's get started right after this okay now I'm about soon and the Right, I need to decide where I want to go. Maybe Thorpe Park would be a good idea. Nah, nah, the rides would be too fast, no. How about the cinema? Nah, I've seen all the films they're showing, it'd be boring to see, what, to see one of the same ones again. Uh, how about going to the zoo? No, I'm afraid of the animals, huh? How about the farm? Nah, once again, animals, I'm afraid of them. How about... <sighs> Hi, yes. Time travel. No, that's not real. You know, I had no idea it would be this difficult to decide what to do. Mr. Indecisive, that's me. For Braggle's sake. Why do those wazzles have to make me so wazzling, fraggling, indecisive? This certainly wants. So I'll just go and do what? <sighs> Ever the show and tell I like. Okay guys, that was our short role play. For this time around. Coming up next is the next episode of the all new Barrett family and now we're going to find out as it is now five years later what happens when Lily and Robert have settled down into married lives and parenthood as they have a daughter named Lizzie. So without any further ado Let's watch them as they are settling down. My wife and daughter are the best things in my life. And here are your wife and daughter. Robert Mason Barrett. Lizzie, say good morning to Daddy. Morning, Daddy. Good morning, sweetheart. Come to Daddy. Sit on Daddy's knee, honey kitten. It appears that our daughter has the laughs again. She is a very happy girl, is our Lizzie. I'm pleased our little girl is happy. Lizzie, you might want to calm down before you wet your knickers. Good girl. Maybe I need to be naughty. Lizzie, if you're naughty, you will go to bed. Don't you dare. Cheeky monkey. Where are my bananas then? I think I'll go to my room. Okay, sweetheart. Off you go. What a lovely daughter we've got. She's a very lovely girl. I love her so much. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, guys. There will be another episode of that, the episode 10 coming up later on. Now, this is where Lord Vaderbort would normally step in, but I'm giving him some time off. So, in his place, there will be a short role play about a teacher coming up with a lesson plan. Enjoy! Yeah, okay, so for this week's lessons, um, okay, let's see. For English, we're going to be doing Of Mice and Men. Yep, for Science, we're going to be doing the study of, well, we're doing Physics. Mm -hmm. For Food Tech, we're going to be doing Italian Cuisine. For History, we're covering Ancient Greek Myth. Uh, for maths, we're doing multiplying numbers by the million. For music, we're going classical with Tchaikovsky, a bit of Mozart, and a bit of Beethoven. For information technology, we're doing a PowerPoint presentation on a subject of our choice. For PE, okay, for PE the students aren't actually, okay, for PE we're doing uh, boring old foot bollocks. For individual studies, we're going to be doing, well, individual studies, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so, um, for art, the students are allowed to do their own projects, okay, for design technology, project of student's choice. Yep, for citizenship we're learning about France and in foreign language studies at the moment we're doing Japanese. So that's a lesson plan all done and uh, dusted. We don't do geography, no. That lesson was scrapped last year. So now it's time to call in the experts. Okay, guys, that was our second role play in place of Lord Vadermore segment. Coming up next is. A nappy animation. Oh, I should have said that, but let's see what we got from that folder, shall we? Good morning, darling. Good morning, mum. Are you okay? You look down. I wet the bed last night. You naughty girl. How dare you? I'm sorry. I'm sure you are, as you now have to wear a nappy. A nappy? I'm afraid so. If you're going to wet the bed, you are going to wear a nappy. But? No buts, Missy. Wetting the bed has made it clear to me that you still need nappies on, so you are going to wear them. I don't need a nappy. Yes you do. We're going to put a nappy on you now, and then I'm going to go and change your bed sheets. Lay down and we'll put your nappy on. No. Naughty girl. Nappy. I'm not having a nappy on. Yes you are. I'm not a baby. I don't need a nappy. You wetting the bed tells me otherwise. You jolly well need a nappy, so let's get you into one. Yes, Missy. A nappy for you. Babies wear nappies. And you're acting like a baby. Wetting the bed. Nappy. But? No buts. It's nappies for you because you wet the bed. So come on. I want a nappy on you. Now. 
I won't let you put a nappy on me. You don't have a choice. I am putting a nappy on you. Okay, that was crazy, wasn't it? Well, talk about the uh, name of this chapter. It is a crazy evening, all right. Well, coming up next, we have episode 10 of the all-new Barrett family. And this time around, we've got a very naughty girl in the family. Naughty Lizzie. What would she do? This is a good show. Lizzie, sweetheart, it's time. I told you to turn this program off. When was that? Ten minutes ago. Why do you still have it on? It's good. No, it is a very naughty program, and you are very naughty for not turning it off after being told to. Shut up. Lizzie Lily Barrett, you do not disobey your mother, and then speak to her like that. Naughty girl. Go to your room and stay there for two hours. You really are a very naughty girl. No. Lizzie Lily Barrett, stop being naughty and do as you are told. I'm not being naughty. Excuse me, but you're being really naughty. Go to your room now. If you won't go up, then I shall take you up those stairs myself, and you're going to bed. Bed. Yes, bed. But. No buts. You know very well that if you're going to be naughty, you get put to bed, and that is final. So, come with me, and I will put you a nappy on, and then put you to bed, now. How dare my daughter behave this way? Calm down, Robert. Naughty Lizzie has been dealt with. Thank goodness for that. Let's remain calm. Yes, or nap is for the pair of you. Lizzie Lily Barrett. What are you doing down here? You are supposed to be in bed for being naughty, you naughty girl. Get back to bed at once. Lily, Robert. Why are you so angry? Because Lizzie thinks it's appropriate to be naughty. What have you done this time? Nothing. Don't you lie to your grandparents like that? You were watching that naughty program again and kept watching it after I told you to turn it off. On top of that, you were put to bed for it, and you just got up. The evidence is most conclusive. Lizzie Lily Barat, you do not behave this way and expect to get away with it. You have so much to learn, you naughty girl. If you don't get back to bed at once, I will carry you up. You get to bed at once, you naughty girl. Lizzie. Lily. Barat. You do not speak to your mother like that. You're a very naughty girl. We'll change your nappy, and then get you back to bed. What a very naughty girl. I would have thought that at four years old she'd be more mature. Let's, everybody, just calm down. That's better. Okay guys, um, we're going to end this episode, or this crazy evening, with the first of the Brown Family Chronicles. And let's see what happens, okay, as... Charlotte and Rose are left babysitting the naughty little sisters. That's Sandra and Lucy. Let's have a look, shall we?
boring. We are kids don't forget. Five and eight year olds aren't allowed to watch adult humor TV. I know, Sandra Buck. But nothing, Lucy. If you put something you and Sandra are too young to watch on, you will be in serious trouble. Says who? The bossy blonde. I heard that. Lucy Charlotte Brown, you get to your room, right now. You do not speak to Rose like that. That's very naughty. Sandra. You're not off the hook either, Missy. You need to go and tidy your room. Now. It is incredibly messy. Oh shit, I forgot. That does it. You are now grounded. How dare you use that language. Naughty. Turn the TV off. Hey, Charlotte and Rose. Hey, Mum. Hey, Dad. Where are Sandra and Lucy? They were naughty so we had to punish them. What did they do? Lucy spoke rudely to Rose, so we sent her to her room. And Sandra left her room in a mess and then used foul language, so we grounded her. That's really naughty of them. Especially Sandra. I thought she knew better. If you'll excuse me, I need to go and do my homework. I need to go and check on the two little naughties. Leave those two little minxes to us now, Charlotte. Thanks for your help. Anytime. And this is where I bid you good night and see you next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. The third one will be up. Um, some point either tomorrow or Friday. Any of those two days. Um, until then. Peace be with you.